This week, I'm going to teach all of you the secrets to a surprisingly quick mystery. So it's not exactly a favorite with the ladies. Who said that? So, we'll see. We'll proceed and see how many of you immediately turn off your phones to watch this particular demonstration. You start with a pack of cards. One, two, three. <laughs> a pack of playing cards. And you say, hey, is there anybody here alone in the asylum? Because I don't really know what's going on. On, on. Is that an echo? I don't know. Anyway, you go through the cards. You spread them out. So they get a free choice of pretty much any card in the pack. But you got to make sure you got your get ready. You go through, you say, touch one of them. They touch one. You show them the card they touch. You say, remember the card. Then you take the pack. And you put it inside the card case. Then you say, hey, would anybody like me to change my persona? Everybody raises your hands and sets their cards on fire. You don't know what it means. Actually, you do, but you continue. And you say, look, we're going to try to find your playing card. You could touch any card. And they really can touch any card. It's 100% free choice. There's no fucking time to put the free choice. And you say, look, on the, on the, hello, on the card case, you can see there's something. Everyone's got a broken heart. I think that's a song. And this is a broken rubber band. I think that's a segue. See, look, somewhere in there, it's a card. I know that. We got this, this band snapped the other day. I was trying to repair a rocket ship. A rocket ship with it. And this is what happened. See, look. Watch. I take the case. Just give the hit. Ooga. I say, Ooga. When I'm thrilled, I actually did the move. Then you hand this to somebody, and they open up the case. And inside the case, what do they find? It's a dead emu heart. Pum, 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 pum. No, it's inside the case. Oh, my sweet Jesus. They see this, the rubber band, and making strings even stranger. If someone takes out and looks inside, and they cut to exactly where. There's only one card. Lo and behold, and that frisky old rubber band, that tricky old thing. <laughs> It's found a card. In fact, it's made a tiny hole in the card. And if that isn't a totally exciting keepsake souvenir, I usually just give them a couple of bucks. Bucks. So, uh, that just happened. Uh, <laughs> I have a hard time sometimes <laughs> resisting uh, going crazy when doing a card trick. I've been doing this a long, long time. So I'm not going to make any apologies for that particular performance, but all I want to say is I'm really sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to reading some of the comments about that particular presentation, but that goofy, silly presentation aside, uh, this is a really funky little trick. It really is. Great visual on the end, easy to do, and it uses a force. I looked at the performance and I, it was a little below camera. Um, uh, but uh, the force is really sweet. Uh, if you know the force, then you're a big fan of it because it's just so strong. Uh, if you don't know this force, um, uh, and while during the presentation I did say they can touch any card, it's true. They have a 100% free choice of any card. Uh, but it's a very sneaky switch involved, okay? So they have a free choice. No force on the choice, but you do do a, a do do. A very uh, cool switch. So I'm going to teach um, uh, the switch, the force, whatever you want to call it, uh, as well as the details about how the rubber band uh, visibly vanishes um, as opposed to invisibly vanishes, which I'm not quite sure what that means. Weird. Um, uh, as well as the preparation on the trick and the whole thing like that. I'm going to teach it today, just a second. Okay, what are we also going to do today? We're going to announce the winners of last week's contest. I was giving away five cards, done. Um, uh, and I'm going to announce the winners, five cards done, on this video, as well as the question of the week for your chance to win one of my private property mentalism gimmicks. A truly unlimited gimmick. Extremely versatile. It's like the Swiss Army knife of mentalism gimmicks, so to speak. Okay? Uh, I'm resisting. I'm right now resisting. I'm resisting slipping it back into that crazy mode, okay? Uh, I will not. I shall not. So, let's jump in here, my friends. Okay, so let's look at the control first. Why not? Or the, the switch thing. It's most cool. Uh, I think the traditional idea, you know, what you'd like to be able to do is spread out a deck of cards, right? And have someone touch literally any card they want. They could even change their mind, whatever. 
and then you they can take that card, okay, and no fuss, no muss. Um, there's, I think, in the classic force, of course, I'm sure you're familiar with the classic force, so I won't go into it, where you spread out the cards, and it's a timing thing, uh, does exactly that. However, sometimes, I think there's real power in having a trick uh, in the card trick, where it's not so much removed, but it's left in the pack. So, because when people remove it, then replace, there's this notion, can the magician control the cards? Uh, as they Maybe he got a glimpse of it, all that stuff. So if you can spread out the cards, have them touch any card, and just show them that card, and then square the cards back up, I mean, that's really pretty, especially if they can touch any card in the pack. And that's what this does, all right? Uh, with the rubber band set up, it's a little trickier. Take a bit more practice, okay? Uh, without the rubber band, uh, which I'm going to teach you right now, um, you literally can spread out the cards, okay? You spread out the cards. You've got to watch the camera angle slightly. They touch any card they want, any card. You show them the card they stopped at. Square up the cards. It is that fair, okay? It's a very pretty move. And the card starts on the bottom. It's on the bottom, okay? And here's what you're doing. You're going to be uh, doing something called buckling a card, okay? Now, I'll tell you right now, Buck, I'll show you what buckling is and why you're going to be tempted to go another route, but you have to stick with the buckling. Buckling, we'll do with half a pack here, is the key pressure points are the first finger here on the corner and the base of the thumb here, and the pressure's going across here. So you're holding the deck really between these two fingers. The thumb is steadying it, and it frees up the three fingers on the bottom. Okay. And what you're going to do is with the three fingers, you're going to pull, you're going to actually pull the card uh, to the left, okay, you're going to press up against the, the bottom of the deck and the fingers are pulling it in towards the palm. You're scooching it in toward, and you see that? It's buckling. It's buckling, okay? So you're not pushing it out, okay? You're not pushing it to your right, okay? Instead, you are pulling it into your left so that the bottom card buckles. Right? The reason you want it to buckle is because you're actually going to push one card that away. You might think, well, why don't I just push one card that away? Because sometimes you'll get two cards, sometimes you get three, you have no control. But when you buckle, okay, when you buckle, you'll see that the slightly crimped card will always now be the only one that gets pushed to the right. That's why you want to do it. Now, with the full pack, I'm going to buckle and push. Okay, watch this. He's from the side here, sort of from the back buckling into the palm and pushing off and notice that when I push it I have to clear I don't push the first finger doesn't move so when I buckle I actually have to then not only buckle but slightly lower the card so it can clear the tip of the finger so this is basically what's happening here at first it'll feel weird but with like with everything start with a half a deck build up a bit of strength okay you'll find it easier uh, and again the first finger shouldn't be moving okay the first finger you have to kind of push it um, just below the first finger now that's the buckle what the buckle does when you combine it with a full deck it means that what i can do is spread these cards out simultaneously buckle and push and the card goes along for the ride under the fan It looks like, and again, the angle's not great here for the camera because usually when I'm standing and looking up at people, you know, I'm standing and people are standing in front of me, walk around, gig, whatever, uh, my sight line looking directly at the people in the eyes is like this, right? Because I'm extremely small. I'm looking up at the people. Uh, I basically start at their kneecaps and look up and hope that, uh, yeah, something about a skirt and they're not fully dressed and all that kind of thing. Anyway, uh, but you spread the cards, and again, you're going to be tilting them down a little bit, and you buckle, boom, off the bottom. And this card is going to go along for the ride while you square them. Now, notice I keep this last. This is here. Okay. So I'm spreading, and all the cards are essentially being fed still below the four. Still, they're all being, but they're still going, uh, or above, I should say, sorry, above the four. Which means that when I spread out the cards and I do the buckle there and I keep going, any card they touch, doesn't matter. I break the cards at the point where they touched, and just by tapping, the most natural thing in the world, all the cards above the four stay above the four. Okay? So what you want it to look like is spreading out the cards. They touch any card, you tap, and that's the card. I mean, that's they touch any card, they can go back and forth, right? You go through like this, you want this one, oh, you want this one here, okay. 
and that's your card, and it goes in the middle. I mean, how fair is that, right? Beautifully fair. And that's exactly with practice, five of hearts on the bottom. With practice, you buckle, you buckle the card, along for the right it goes. They touch any card, that's the bottom card. So it's this beautiful touch any card, buckle, bottom card force. That's the official name. Beautiful, spread the cards, touch any card, buckle, bottom card force. Okay, and it's lovely. So that is just, that's the worth the price of admission. Uh, if you're not familiar with that force, what I just shared here on this YouTube video, I think is really, really valuable. And I hope you enjoy it and appreciate it and practice it because it's beautiful. And you know, stuff on the bottom is nice because it means you can still shuffle the top. Okay, doing a Hindu shuffle or riffle shuffle or even a, taught this recently, an overhand uh, shuffle. I mean, if that looks like a totally fair shuffle, but you're keeping the bottom card, right? With a bit of fingertip squeeze as per a recent video of mine. And so you're always ready to force that card at any time with this bottom card buckle force going along. And again, you might get a tiny flash here because the camera and I'm seated and all that, but it's the bottom card force. Now, get a rubber band, okay? Get a rubber band. You're going to take a, a pen or pencil, put a little hole in the middle there like that. Get a rubber band. You really want a medium size, not too small, because what you do is you cut it, cut it open, right? Uh, then feed it through here, probably get the pencil point to help push it through, and then you wrap it around, and then you tie it off here like this, and I just do a wrap around tie like this, and there was a bunch of ends, and I trimmed the ends, okay? And so that's my preparation on my king. And I have a duplicate one. I have a, a duplicate one here, okay? This starts on the bottom of the deck, very bottom of the deck, with the rubber band back to facing me, okay? So which that means is that this can be in my pocket or my car, in my uh, performance case, whatever, and I can go into my, I can put the deck in my pocket, right? Do something else, another trick, and then when I take the deck out of my pocket, along for the ride comes this, because this is a killer closing trick, okay? Really strong, crazy uh, souvenir, cost you nothing to make, and it's the kind of thing people are really amazed at. It is, a, and what is they call, an impossible object. It's a totally impossible, possible object okay this rubber band is around the card case okay if you want you can start with the whole trick let's just say imagine you use that as an opening effect though i think it's too strong for an opening way shouldn't blow all that magic out of the gates but let's just say it's like that now as for the special handling you're gonna have to wait a second because we're jumping in folks with the question of the week here's the question of the week okay i'm giving away private property now private property as with all my stuff you can check it out at sankeymagic.com. You may not know this, that even though some other magic shops around the world sell some of my older stuff, nothing I've come out with in the last several years is available anywhere in the world but directly from me. Okay, so keep that in mind, even though some of, you know, all the new stuff, all, I think my best stuff is available only through sankeymagic.com. Having said that, uh, private property is this gimmick that allows you to really have very secret knowledge of stuff you shouldn't have secret knowledge of. Super flexible. Imagine being able to reveal someone's PIN number to their bank account, right? Or their middle name that they never tell anybody. Or the name, I love doing this, the name of the first girl or boy they ever kissed. I mean, this is awesome stuff. Crazy mentalism stuff. Your chance to win private property, here's what I want you to do. Leave a comment down below and tell me if you could read someone's mind, whose mind, living or dead, anyone in the world, can be your husband, your wife, whatever. Whose mind would you like to be able to read? And what piece of information? So let's be very specific. What would you like to read from their mind? What would you? What secret knowledge do they have? Okay. So who and what? If you had real psychic power, leave a comment down below. Automatically entered into the contest for private property. All right. In a moment, I'm going to announce the five five card stun winners. But let's go into this trick a little bit here. So we've got this here. Boom, okay, we've got that there. We're all set to go here. To perform, we take this out. We grab the deck out here like this. And of course, at this point, we can even give the deck a Hindu shuffle, a little shuffle here. And everyone assumes everything's copacetic, but little do they realize on the bottom of the deck, you have a card that not only has a hole in it, but a rubber band fed through it. So very cool, very, very far ahead. Now we're gonna do our buckle, touch any card force. You will find the first few times you try this though, the rubber band, makes it a little funky, okay? It's the same technique spreading, the same technique buckling and pushing across, okay? But you'll find initially the rubber band will make it a little funkier to do, okay? But with a little practice, 
you'll be able to spread the cards, buckle, and push it off. The key is to push it off a little bit further than you'd normally would, then spread all the other cards on top, and then you're in the same position, okay? They can touch any card they touch. They touch that card. You tap there, and you show, okay? And notice you show real casually, like this. You tap, show casually. Um, uh, if this looks a little awkward to you, I want you to think about the first time I did it during that crazy performance, when I did it really casually and then kept moving. I bet it didn't uh, set off any alarms for you then, okay? And if you're a magician, you're always, you always have a certain perspective anyway on things. But there's the king of diamonds. Put that there. You want to make sure they don't see the gap, right? So you want to, uh, several weeks ago, a couple of months ago, I shared a rubber band and, and a de deck of cards trick. Uh, a little like this, but this is even stronger, more surreal. So you're here like that. Then you take this and you put this in the, and you are all set, okay? Next, you draw a 10 to the rubber band, and that's the order, I think. I think you should first have a card touch real casual. They look at a card inside. You could even show it around to a few people and tuck it away. Now, at this point, you could I like that it's on the card case, but you could take this out of your pocket or it could be on your wrist, right? Or it could be on your glasses, hanging there like that. You walk up to people and you go, how's everybody doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just got back from, I don't know, the moon, and I got this thing going on here. We'll get back to that in a second, okay? Almost a bit of a, I don't know. I'm not sure what's going on there. It's uh, like um, uh, a wristband into a dance club, only really sad and weird, right? So you need to introduce this, whether it's on your wrist or the case like this. And now you're going to make it vanish in a very cool way because you're going to use the card case as a magic wand. So five cards done winners. I know Jay's being a real tease on this one. If I say your name now, you won five cards done. Okay, cool trick. Check it out at sankeymagic.com. Here's the names. Thomas Kirk, Martin Tarr, Lycan, T-A-R-R, Lycan Bill Tarr, who did the Now You See It, Now You Don't sleight of hand books back in the day. So cool. Ross Richardson, Eric Rubin, Nicholas de Simon. Nicholas DeSimone, Daniel Hansen, Jake Seaman, John Stalker, Chris George. Make up your mind. First name, name, last name, I don't know. Kerry McKay, Davi, so almost David, D-A-V-I, Davi Santos, and finally Dragon Earth. Ooh, that's scary. That's a scary sci-fi kind of fantasy reference there. Anyway, if I said your name, you won. Send an email to my team at contact at sankeymagic.com. Tell them your name. It could be a YouTube name like Dragon Earth, not to be confused with Lizard Planet. Um, uh, make sure they have your name, uh, your real name, and if you have a YouTube name, include that, please. Let them know your shipping address so they can send you uh, one of these specially printed, actually you get two with it, uh, five cards done gimmicks. All right, congratulations to all the winners. Where are we at here? Look, we're gonna do David Williamson's Striking Vanish, my slight variation on this, okay? You are going to hold this in your hand, right? You got this here, and you're going to go tapping down. And as you go tapping down, you're really going to scoop the... You're going to go down, and you're going to scoop it into the fingers. Looks like this. Boom. Really magical. You think I threw it on the floor, lapped it. No, no, no. Okay, let's do it again here. So you go down. Now, David Williamson's original idea, which looks like crazy next-level wizard magic in his hands, is you kind of go up... And you're throwing this here, and then you go down. And you do it so quickly, okay? But I found I could never get it down because David has wizard hands, and I have mortal little chubby butcher man hands. Butcher man. That's a brand of magic that never took off. Hey, we're going to hire butcher man for a kid party. Mm, I don't think so. Let's get that balloon twister, okay? You know, down. And like I said, what I found as opposed to throwing up is if I drop my hand quickly enough... Uh, it gives me the air time to scoop. So as opposed to throwing up and down, it's all down, okay? A little air time and a scoop action, okay? You'll practice it. At first, it'll look ridiculous. It looks like it's way... But once you get the handle, you can do it real soft, okay? So you're going down. I scoop it up between the fingers like this. Smack, boom, like this. Showing this, okay? Now, you might think people wonder where the rubber band is, but and they do. But what I do is I hand, I take this here, hand it to someone and say, open up, go ahead, open that up. And notice my two hands are mirroring each other so there's no heat here. Go ahead, open that up, drop my hands to my side. They open it up and all focus. And the great thing is 
rather than there being this lingering question, where is the rubber band, where is the rubber band, they open it up and when they see that, holy cow. Now what I like about this is it's not clear what's happened yet. I think people imagine the rubber band is somehow wrapped around the card, which is cool, but it's not as amazing as what they're going to release. So there's still another surprise, even though it looks like you've revealed things, there's one more surprise coming, which I love. They open up, they take it out, and boom, you've got this crazy-ass surreal. I mean, no one's ever seen that before. That is a weird-ass image. Shouts magic. So this whole trick's pretty easy. Remember the cool force. Do not miss your chance to win private property, right? Very cool mentalism gimmick. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you could read anybody's mind in the world, living or dead. Dead might be a weird kind of thing. I don't know, you get a nosebleed and we wake up and you're in, you're in sort of Hades or something. Uh, someone living or dead, anybody, someone in your life, give me whose mind would you like to be able to read and what detail, information, fact in particular would you like to glean, glean with your fleeting and uh, newfound psychic powers? Uh, what fact would you leave a comment down below? And please, hey, 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 come on, I just showed you that really cool force. This is kind of a surreal thing, so please, come on, subscribe to the channel and click the like button. Make sure you leave a comment, okay? And one other thing I want you to do is uh, be nice to a stranger today, okay? You see somebody, you could use a little bit of help, some, somebody carrying an older person, trying to push something along maybe, or... Or maybe there's someone crossing the street or, you know, maybe there's someone, you could, someone far less fortunate than you and I sitting there with a hat out, whatever. So be kind, give a little bit of something to someone, a total stranger today, please. Thank you.